Hello again. Welcome to UIN Mission Masterclass Principal Module. In this module, we are going to use Principal for Math to create interactive prototypes and complex UI animations. Principal is very simple and easy to use prototyping tool. With quick and easy prototyping, Principal makes the design and development process quick, allowing the stakeholders, developers, and the entire design team to test ideas using prototypes and visualize the product before it goes into production. In this masterclass, the modules are purposely designed to be consumed easily with smaller lessons. One can watch these lessons at their own pace on both mobile and desktop. As we talked before, prototypes made through Principal are interactive on phone, and that helps to test the product on users and collect feedback. So, without any further ado, let's get started with Principal for Mac. So, guys, in this video, we're gonna focus on three parts. First. How to install principal second we're gonna see the interface of principal and third we're gonna connect two screens together and create a basic animation basic interaction just to see like how principal works also very important thing principal works with sketch and figma both that means you can easily import your ui designs from sketch and figma and in this entire principal module we're gonna focus on figma principal workflow so let's get started so to install principal or basically to download principal you have to go to this link which is called principalformac.com and you can download the free trial or maybe purchase for 129 dollars i would say uh, download a free trial first and then uh, play around with principal and if you like and if you're comfortable with that then you can buy it for 129 dollars so now let's have a look at the interface of the principal app so we are right inside principal and this is how the interface looks and we have a canvas here just like uh, we are, what we have in design tools like sketch or figma and you can see we have two artboards or two frames which is called home page and product page and we have a small preview window here so this is a good part in principal compared to other apps where you can directly see what are you creating what are you animating on the right hand side in this preview window or preview panel then on the top of the principal app we have insert where you can insert different kind of shapes text and artboard then we have import button and we have drivers and animate drivers and animate we're going to talk about it later on in the next videos so for now let's close this and also we have share to web and export function inside principle then on the left hand side you have all the alignment tools and kind of design panel here where you can play around with the rotation scale opacity fill border etc and also you have scrolling controls paging controls here for horizontal and vertical yeah let's keep that to static for now and on the left side on the down below the design panel we have all the layers and the artboard so we have this home page artboard and product page and inside those artboards we have different layers so very important thing before you start with animating anything keep your layers tidy and and rename each and every layer so that you don't uh, get confused or something yeah so don't use uh, layman names like group or like random names just rename everything properly so that your screen can connect together well and you don't have any problem with animating things otherwise there will be a lot of issue if your layers are not named properly so that's it and the interface is not that complicated it's very simple and you just need to focus on the layers and on the design panel and on the drivers animate and create component panel so this is it and there is not much else in the interface of principle it's very simple and let's now dive into creating a very simple uh, very small animation and which is very simple and let's see how principle works so as we can see here we have two artboards one is called home page and another one is called product page and what i want to do is when i interact with card one on home page basically when i 
tap on it, I should go to this product page where I can see all the product details of this particular product. So how we're gonna do this is we can click on this card one, which you can see from the layers panel and you will see this flash kind of small icon. You can click on that and you will see all the triggers which are there inside principle. We have tap, we have long press, we have scroll begins, released ends, we have drag, we have touch, we have hover inside and outside and auto. And we're gonna talk about other triggers later on in the next videos. But for now, let's click on tap, basically, which means like we are tapping on this card to see like what's inside, like what are the details of this particular product. So let's click, uh, let's select tap from here. Once you select tap, you will get this uh, connecting arrow, which you can connect to another product page. But what I'll suggest you to do is take this arrow and drop it on the same page on where you are right now. So let's uh, drop this arrow on home page and you will see a connection which says from home page to home page two. So let's do a small change here and let's change this artboard name from home page two to product page. So you will get it like what I'm trying to do here is, so we are moving from home page to product page and when I click on this or when I tap on this particular product, I want the details of this product on this page and all other uh, elements like header, like footer and card two should go away. So yeah, so I have another layer which is called product details here and I'm gonna just remove it because it's not needed here. Yeah, so on the home page, you can see I have header, I have pics for you text and I have card one, card two and footer bar and we have this base layer. So what we're going to do here on product page, we're going to move this header to the top. And I'm going to reduce opacity to zero. And also you can see we have product details thingy here, which we don't need. So I'm just going to delete it. Yeah. So now select this picks for you and move it to the top and reduce opacity to zero. Same I'm going to do with the footer bar. I'm going to select it. I'm just going to move it down and I'm going to do the opacity zero. So basically what we are doing here is we are telling principle that when I move to this product page, I don't want these elements and these elements should go away from uh, like, you know, these elements should move uh, to the top for the header and for the footer, it should move down. So same goes for the card. We're going to move it a little bit down and we're going to reduce opacity. So when you will move from this screen, first screen to another screen, you will see these elements going away and we're going to take this element uh, inside this card one and going to move it a little bit up and reduce opacity to zero. So now let's see like how does the actual product page looks like. So we have this image here and this background here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this base from the layers panel, this yellowish orange, pale, pale yellowish orange base. And I'm going to just increase the size of this from edge to edge, something like this. And I'm going to move this image to the top and I'm going to just scale the image from one to 1.1 or maybe 1.2. Yeah. Somewhere around here and just going to place it somewhere around in the center. And I'm going to take this add to cart, move it a little bit up and reduce opacity to zero. Now what I'm going to do is from the actual design, I'm going to just pick this entire page which is called product details and just gonna copy it basically command c for mac and i'm gonna select this product details page from here and i'm just gonna copy it and i'm just gonna paste on the product page so this is how the entire product page looks like and i'm gonna also paste this product details page on the home page 
and we don't need it here i'm going to move this product details to the top of card one so that we can see something like this but we know that we don't need to see this page on the home page we don't we don't want it there and we want like the motion from home page to product page of this product details page should be it should come from down so i'm just going to move it down a little bit somewhere here and i'm going to reduce the opacity to zero because we don't need to see it here so what happens like as we move from move from home page to a product page this product details page will uh slide in from bottom to here and the card one will move from here to top so let's have a look at the and we can delete this uh uh actual uh design from here uh, artboard from here because we already copied the contents from there so i'm just gonna delete it so we have these designs we have these artboards here and i'm just gonna click on show preview i'm gonna click on reset this is the reset button and i'm just gonna click on or tap on this product and you can see that the motion is pretty smooth it's a little quick but you can see like you know this header is moving to the top when i click and the image is also moving to the top this works pretty fine and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select this back button click on this flash icon click on tap and drop onto this home page because we're gonna go back to this when i click on go back and let's see if it works and it works like a charm so tap on the product card go on to the product details click on go back you go back to the home page so this is how you can create simple animations inside principle and so if you click on this connection which is called card one tap you will see a uh, animation timeline here and you will have different layers and different properties of those layers like center y opacity center x height scale and each of these uh, blue markers are called keyframes and we're gonna see sorry and we're gonna see about those keyframes later on in the next uh, next set of videos so for now let's close this and yeah so this was a very basic tutorial in which we saw like how to connect two screens together and how to create a basic animation so in the next video we're gonna see how to import designs inside principle and we're gonna create a little bit more uh, custom complex animation so have a wonderful day ahead and see you guys in the next video